Hello world, this is What's Up 290, and today I'll be showing you how to install and I'll be doing kind of a review of the newest OSX operating system, OSX El Capitan, which was very recently released as of this video. So, they, you know, they've, Apple's kind of done their usual updates for an operating system. They've uh, improved the, uh, uh, they've improved the speed, security, and uh, just the overall stability over of this op new operating system over Yosemite. And uh, they've also added a whole bunch of some, at least some new features, which uh, I will ha I will have a link to, which you can check out in the uh, the video description because I may not be able to cover all of them. So keep that in mind. So to start the upgrade, all I have to do is go to the App Store and then click Updates, and you should see this. So yeah, here's actually some of the uh, new features. Right, some of them. I'll still put the link in the description. Here, yeah, here's some of the uh, new features in OS XL Capitan. I'll leave you to read them. So it looks like they've just it made some a lot of them made some improvements to Safari, all the Apple programs, Spotlight. And uh, it looks like this is definitely worth the upgrade. From what it's getting pretty good reviews so far. So you know, so what you're going to want to do once you're done reading this is uh, click get. and then a sign in with an Apple ID that you can use. And then the download will start. Now it's going to take a long time to download because you know it's a huge multi gigabyte file. So I'm going to pause the video until it's done downloading. So once the big downloading process is done, which took about an hour and a half for me, which because you know it's a six, seven gig file, so that is so the download's going to take a while. Um, you know, open up the LSX El Capitan installer. So here, just click continue. Read this if you want, and then click agree. And then click install. When you have to type in your your, your uh, password, your administrator password, and then it's going to go through the, you know this process of you know it, it's where it's basically getting your hard drive ready for the installation. I'm going to pop, and after this, the computer is going to restart into the installer. Now, once it's uh, restarted, it will go through your computer's sort of normal startup screen with the gray loading bar, and then it will right away after that start the uh, OSX, the uh, OSX, the new OSX installer. So we're we're doing good so far. Um, I'll I'll pause it until this is done. So once it's installed, the computer will restart, and it's going to take quite a while to restart, minded. But I have to say. Once I uh, got it installed, this operating system is already running a lot faster on my machine than OSX Yosemite did. OSX El Capitan seems much faster and much more stable already. So I have good hopes. I'm, I would already give it a good rating for that. But there are quite a few new features that they put in, of course. And we are going to be, well, we, we already knew that, but I'm going to be showing a few of them. Just a few of them. I can't, I can't show all of them because this video will be way too long, you know. But you can read them here, which is, this, I'll actually put this link in the video instead. One new, some enhancements that they've made other than making the operating system faster and more secure is to the spotlight. The spotlight will now search for, will now give a bigger search when you search for a certain word. It will search for in app files. So if you composed a 
email that composed that uh, used a certain word that you cite for that you typed that you search for in a uh, sorry spotlight it should come up with spotlight should come up with that email it sh I think I it should and another another thing cool thing they added they didn't change the icons at all it doesn't look like to me so far but they did change the cursor so it's kind of a more rainbowy dot effect not that that really matters but you know Another cool feature they added is the ability to put apps up at the top so that you can easily access, you can easily store apps up here when you're not using them, but you don't want to close them. And then you can easily from here just select which window you want to view next. I know. According, I don't use the mail client, but according to this website, El Capitan's tweet, when you minimize an email using the mail client, you won't have to go do drafts to get it back. No, it simply goes to the bottom of your mail window. So they've made the, so they've, you know, they've done their stuff of making over the apps to make them, to make it more convenient and, st and stuff like that. So I would give this a very good rating so far. Um... I know this wasn't a very in-depth review, but keep in mind, I don't want this video to be too long and I have to keep it pretty simple so everybody will understand it too. So, um, that's about it for this video. Um, this is definitely worth installing on your Mac if you don't, on your Mac, if you don't uh, already have, if you haven't already done so. So, have a nice day. Um, there's there's one more feature I'll mention. Apparently, if you can't find your mouse, if you just kind of wiggle around on the screen, your mouse should show up. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is What's Up 290, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day.